life is thriving deep underground. They even found 4.3 a mile under the surface. Scientists have discovered an astonishing variety of microbes living deep beneath the surface of our planet. They found different life forms on 491 meters deep under the ocean floor and over 4.3 kilometers below the surface the lands. These discoveries may be relevant in the search for life on others the planets. Life on Earth is almost everywhere. Even deep under our feet is a vast and diverse biosphere that scientists they are just getting to know. Underground microbes living miles below the surface the planets can cope without access to sunlight, in high temperatures, poor availability of nutrients and huge the pressures. To explore and document this fascinating, hidden world, Team scientists led by Emil Ruff of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in USA and Isabella Hrab de Angelis of the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry in Germany has developed a global atlas of microbe diversity in the depths of the Earth. The results and description of the work appeared in the journal Science Advances. In their research, researchers analyzed samples from more than 50 locations around the world collected from the surface and from under the surface earth, as well as from places such as caves or hydrothermal chimneys at the bottom of the oceans. Surface samples are taken from soils, sediments, or from the water surface, however, underground samples were taken from wells, cracked fluids plumbing, mines, or aquifers. The variety of life discovered surprised scientists especially given that they live so hostile, extreme the environment. This was particularly the case for microorganisms from marine environments, but also archaea. It is widely accepted that they go deeper to the surface of the earth, the less energy is available, and the number of cells that they can survive, it is smaller. In turn, the more energy is available, the more diversity can be generated and maintained as in tropical forests or coral reefs, where there is a lot of sun and heat. But we show that in some underground environments diversity can easily match if not to exceed, the diversity occurring on the surface, Ruff said. In total, in their work, Scientists assessed diversity microbiological among 478 groups of archaea and 964 bacteria, as well as 147 metagenomes from different marine and land locations. After eight years of research discovered 31,000 unique archaea types and more than 377,000 unique types bacteria in the samples. Basic biological functions of the inhabitants of the underground they run much slower than their cousins living on the surface. The life this is going on at a completely different pace. No access to sunlight subsurface organisms have to minimize energy demand and adjust your metabolism to make it as energy efficient as possible. Underground microorganisms had to learn to obtain energy from the surrounding materials and their chemical reactions, hydrogen, methane, sulfur, serpentinization, dead or living bodies of neighboring microbes and even radioactivity. It's fascinating that in these low energy environments life seems to be slow to an absolute minimum. Some cells under the surface is only once every 1000 years. So these microbes have completely different lifetime scales and potentially we can do something from them teach about aging processes, said Ruff. Evolve a will adaptation to absolutely minimize energy and power demand and optimizing each individual part of the metabolism to make it as much as possible the energy efficient makes sense. We can learn from these microbes how to be extremely efficient, working almost nothing. He added. Analyzing the samples, the researchers also noticed clear differences in congruence of marine and terrestrial ecosystems, regardless of habitat surface or subsurface. 
There is a very clear division between life forms in the sea and land world, not only on the surface, but also under the surface. The selection pressure is very different on land and in the sea. For the first time, scientists have generally realized that deep beneath our feet, in the rocks and under the seabed, there is a huge reservoir microbes, Ruff pointed out. Scientists now estimate that 50 to 80 percent of cells microbiological on Earth is under the surface where accessibility the energy may be of orders of magnitude smaller than on the sunlit the surface. Analysis of samples showed that subsurface archaea were the most diverse in brine, caves, cold effusions and depths the sea. In turn, subsurface bacteria were the most diverse in caves and the sea settlements. The total diversity of the archaea was the highest subsurface marine environments and environments on order of surface and subsurface environments. The total the diversity of bacteria was also the highest in borderline environments. What is surprising, however, is that subsurface life it is very similar to living on the surface. We didn't find any real strangers who would not have representatives in any of the background the surface. Subsurface microbes are similar to those on the surface, therefore, there must be an exchange or evolution of subsurface microbes it goes too slow, as is everything else down there, Ruff said. From this research, you can draw interesting conclusions. Because of life microbiological is present on our planet deep beneath its surface, it can be the same on other worlds. Our search for life extraterrestrials, even on worlds, focus only on studying at the surface. We do not have the right tools to look deep beneath the surface of Mars, but from these studies, it is worth doing. On Earth, life exists practically everywhere where the temperature, at least seasonally, is between freezing and boiling water. The undergrounds 3 kilometers below the surface of Earth and Mars look very similarly, so understanding work beneath the Earth's surface can provide praise on what to look for on other celestial bodies, Ruff explained.